Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylie Kendall and today I am going to talk about my pregnancy must-haves. So first things first, if you are thinking about getting pregnant, it's a good idea to start taking a prenatal vitamin. So the first prenatal vitamin that I took, I probably started taking about a month or two before I actually got pregnant um, and I started taking this one, Smarty Pants. So not the greatest but definitely not bad like the ingredients are actually very good um the only thing is in the beginning i love the flavor i thought oh these are delicious they're like a fruit snack once i got pregnant and i started feeling a little bit nauseous those were no longer delicious so i had to switch to something else so i switched to ritual now, I am obsessed with the Ritual. I'm still taking them today because I am breastfeeding and they are amazing. They never made me feel more nauseous. Um, they do have a little bit of a lemon flavor, but it didn't make me feel sick like those ones. Like seriously, sometimes the thought of those, it just, it wasn't good. So these are awesome. I love them. The ingredients are so clean. The company is amazing and I highly recommend them. Next on my list, so like I said, I was very nauseous. Now, luckily, I never threw up, um, but I was nauseous 24-7 for the first, like, maybe 13 weeks. I don't know why I didn't think of this until, like, eight weeks or nine weeks or something like that, but I forgot that I had learned in school that vitamin B6 is so good for pregnant women who are nauseous. So... I pulled out my vitamin B6 and this is just the now brand um, you can get whatever brand you want but I you should always talk to your doctor before taking any supplements or any vitamins or anything like that especially when you're pregnant it's very important but I took like half or a fourth of this and this is um 50 milligrams so I took like half or a fourth like one to two times a day just depending and seriously when I start taking it I feel like it was a night and day difference like I felt so much better and I was so mad it took me so long to remember like what I learned so there's that um also with the nausea I felt like these ginger chews um they worked pretty well these ones are just the the ginger people brand you can actually get these like at Marshall's and TJ Maxx a lot of times too like there's different brands um but I love these I'm not sure if how much they really help but they did kind of soothe the stomach and make you feel a little better at the time just having something in your mouth like honestly I ate I had I ate so much I put so many things in my mouth like all day every day when I was nauseous because I felt like that made me feel better I don't know maybe that's why I gained 75 pounds but that's for another video my husband was so nice and he got me this tea. It was actually a Mother's Day gift and I think it really did help to settle my stomach. The only thing is I actually hate peppermint tea. Like I just do not like it and this does have peppermint tea in it. So if you do not like peppermint, this might not be for you. But it really did help settle the stomach and I was able to get it down even though I don't really like peppermint. So um, that's great. Okay, the next thing that he got me for my first Mother's Day is this rose and vanilla pregnant belly oil and as you can see I well I guess you can't see because there's a sticker on it but there's literally like this much left I used the whole bottle pretty much I loved it it's not too sticky or tacky or it doesn't feel oily although it is an oil like it absorbs right in and I did not get stretch marks but I truly truly believe that stretch marks are more genetic so it doesn't matter you can use the best belly butter, belly balm, belly oil, whatever in the world, and you can still get stretch marks. Now, I think it's still good to take care of your belly and take care of your skin while you're pregnant because you might get a little itchy or, you know, your skin stretches a lot, so it's still good to always moisturize, but I'm just saying don't rely on that belly balm or belly butter to prevent the stretch marks completely. I really think it's mainly genetic. Okay, the next thing that I loved so much when I was pregnant were books. So, this book everyone's heard of, What to Expect When You're Expecting. This is the fifth edition and I loved it. So I had the best morning ritual. So on Wednesdays, I would turn like the new week pregnant or the next week pregnant, whatever. So every Wednesday morning, I would come downstairs, get my coffee or my lemon water or whatever I was having. And I would sit down and read that chapter about that week of pregnancy. And I loved it so much. It was something I looked forward to and it just made me really happy and it was really exciting. 
So the other book that I loved, so I like this one. This one's awesome. Okay. Everyone should just get this one just because, okay. But this one is the best. So this one is the mom and natural week by week guide to pregnancy and childbirth. And it is amazing. Like I cannot wait for one of my friends to get pregnant so I can buy them this book because it is just, it's so good. And there's so much good information in there. It even talks about like before you get pregnant a little bit too, which I think is really helpful. I kind of wish I had it before. Like just as I started kind of thinking about having a baby, I wish I would have gotten it, but ugh, I love it so much. It's so good. Okay. So if you are pregnant or if you know someone who's pregnant, you should seriously get this book or get this as a gift because it is amazing. And like I said, my little morning ritual was so much fun and I really, really enjoyed it. Something else that I loved to do while I was pregnant was check my pregnancy apps. So I literally downloaded every single one that I could find, but my absolute favorite is called Pregnancy Plus. Now, the reason I say Pregnancy Plus is my favorite is because each week it showed you like a real time picture of what your baby hypothetically looks like inside of your womb. And it just seemed so real to me and made it so much more personal for some reason, if that makes sense. So for example, it's showing that at 39 weeks, Harper would have looked like this. It's just so sweet and so precious and I loved it. And it also gave really good facts and information. I feel like all the apps really do give good information. They're all very similar. It's just, you know, what you prefer. Um, the other apps I have are the What to Expect, The Bump, Baby Center, Ovia Pregnancy, and then the Pregnancy Plus. And then there's one more app that I think you definitely need and that app is called Baby Photo. Now, Baby Photo is perfect for taking your bump pics and I highly encourage you to take bump pics because it's something you can look back on and it's so cool to see the progression and the growth. Um, we get caught up in being pregnant and we kind of forget like each little step and so it's really cool to have the bump pics. Now, Baby Photo makes it very easy because you just take the picture and then it automatically comes with the font and the image that says like baby is the size of a banana 12 weeks or whatever so it's super easy and you don't have to pay for it it's completely free however there are a few options on there that you can pay for and like upgrade or unlock um and you can also use it for your baby's weekly or monthly photos as well so that's kind of cool i just use it for the bump photos and i loved it and i think it's a definite must have Okay, last thing on my list. Oh wait, no, there's still one more thing. Oh, there's two more things. So uh, a pregnancy pillow I think is really important. So I loved it like early in pregnancy up till about like 25, maybe 30 weeks. I thought it was like so comfortable and so fun and cool. But as I got bigger, I actually found it kind of a pain because it was something like you had to kind of figure out how to get comfortable with and then like getting out of bed if you had it on the side like i sleep on like if i was sleeping on this side and it was on this like the edge of my bed it was so hard to get up and out of my bed like it just made like a little it was like a hurdle for me to get over seriously it felt like a huge hurdle and it was like probably like this thick but so towards the end i didn't think it was necessary i kind of feel like it'd be better just to get a couple, like two of those long body pillows that you could actually use later in life um and just use it for pregnancy, kind of like make a little bumpers for yourself, but it's totally up to you. Some people probably really love them. I found it was like an okay item, but I know a lot of people really love them. So I'll start in there. But so around week, I think 36, but don't quote me and always do your own research and ask your doctors and whatever. I started drinking raspberry leaf tea and this is the brand that I used, Earth Mama. And I loved it. First of all, I like the taste actually. I didn't have to put any sweetener or anything. I just liked it. And it is a herbal labor tonic and menstrual support tea. So actually you can drink this anytime. You don't have to be pregnant, but you should wait until later in your pregnancy to drink it because it helps to tonify and strengthen the uterus and prepare your body for childbirth, which I thought was so cool. So, so yeah, I'd recommend drinking this if you're pregnant and you're towards the end, obviously. Okay. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is so much fun for me. And if you have any questions about things you might wanna get when you're pregnant, please let me know. Um, ask in the comments below or contact me directly on my Instagram. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thank you.